The clashes are between army and the paramilitary forces in Sudan. The Indian embassy in Sudan has issued an advisory saying that all Indian nationals should take utmost precautions and stay indoors with immediate effect. In fact, we have Rishabh joining us on the story. Rishabh, the Indian embassy in Sudan asking all Indian nationals to stay indoors, to take utmost precautions. What's the situation in Sudan at the moment? And take us through the advisory that has been issued. So what we know that the parliamentary forces and the regular army of Sudan have started trading attacks at each other, and especially in the uh, uh, you know, capital city of Sudan, uh, things are getting out of control, given that both sides are heavily armed. And in view of that, the uh, Indian embassy uh, in Sudan has requested, uh, rather advised all its uh, nationals, all Indian nationals and all Indian citizens to stay indoor while uh, further, uh, you know, uh, uh, setups are being made by the embassy to ensure that uh, the safety of international, uh, you know, time and again, Indian National Affairs Ministry, as well as uh, the embassies worldwide have suggested that the security of Indian nationals abroad are their prime objective and uh, hence uh, the first thing that the embassy has uh, requested rather advised is that uh, everyone should stay indoor unless an alternative and safe house is uh, you know set up for the Indian nationals as of now given that both the sites are heavily armed the fighting is uh, on since few hours now Thank you, Rishabh, for bringing all those details. So in view of uh, reported firings and clashes, Indians advised to take uh, precautions and stay indoors in Sudan.